All right, so we've got three here on the board. Can we start to talk through them? That'll be all right. Um, let's have a look at the very first one here now. Um, we've got a couple of lines of working. I'm going to make some minor adjustments. You can see there's an equal sign here, which is a common thing. I've seen this all throughout. In fact, you can see it a couple of times on this board. I'm going to very delicately erase this equal sign. Can someone tell me why? I didn't do that as me. I don't like that because... Someone tell me why. Yeah, Zachy, go ahead. It doesn't equal the derivative. The derivative is its own independent function. Very good. Okay, so we, we are thinking, okay, next step, next step. I actually thought about this for years. I'm like, why, especially from um, like year seven, year eight, people do this a lot. We're like, equals, just going along, even though these are clearly not equal things. I kind of wonder if it's because of, and I don't see them on your tables, but I think they trained us. On your calculator, right? You press equals to indicate, do the next thing. Like... Go take action and then and move forward, right? Which is kind of, I think, what you're trying to do. You're like, oh, I have this thing. The next thing I'm going to do is start this process. Write down the page when we cross. Right, right. But they are, as Zachy said, very emphatically not the same thing, unless you have e to the x, which we do not. Um, we now have a derivative over here. I think actually a bit of simplification has already happened. This is like close to the end. So can someone tell me what's the actual rule we use with question one? What are we differentiating with? We're using the quotient rule. Very good. So you've got your, um, I'm, still, I'm still hyper suspicious of myself. So I still, um, years and years later, I still write down u and v so that even if I don't go ahead and do this here, it's one less thing for my brain to have to do to work out which one is which, and then off I go. Okay. Say it again. This is such a common, like I didn't make this up. I learned this from my year 11 teacher, actually. So this is how, you know, and I'm sure they learned it from their year 11. Kind of, I guess. All right, so um, can I get some hands up agreement with this final answer? Yes, a f quite a few hands up. All right, about 2,000 of you. No. no? Thanks. All right, thanks, hands down. Thanks. Just, um, I thought it was 6x minus 3x squared. You thought this was back to front? Yeah. That's huh. That's How many people had it the other way around? See, I believe I'm the other one. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no, I saw a few. Okay. I like 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 now, if I start to think about what this vu dash is going to start looking right, right? vu dash, I'm going to get x minus 1 times, what's this going to give me? 6x, right? That's u dash in this case. In fact, it might even help you. If you haven't already, you can see, I'm sort of skipping ahead, but Shambhavi's actually laid this all out so that we can see what the v and the u and the v dash and the u dash are. Um, if you're in doubt, like this helps you work out what is what, right? So this is going to be, what did we say? 6x and this is going to be 1. I'm actually increasingly seeing when you do this minus u, v dash on the end there, right? You're going to have minus 3x squared. I'm, I think this is okay. Yeah. I think this is going to pan out. Okay? No, that's right. That's right. Um, just one last thing before we leave off this. Um, there are two lines of working here, and I'm interested why there are two. Uh, at this point here, the differentiation is done. It's finished, okay? Um, so I didn't ask you to factorize, but it's a really good idea to factorize. Why is that? Generally. Why do we, why do we go to this next step so frequently, even when asked not to do it? Why is it easier, right? Is it simpler? Yeah. It just looks nicer. It looks nicer? Moe, what are your thoughts? In the case that if there's an x minus 1 at the top, we can simplify it further. Okay, so if there were, if we factorized, and then you're like, oh, I've got a common factor, I could cancel further, that's, that's a plus, right? I'll give you another one. We often, not in this case, because I just wanted this to be a start, but we often go from a first derivative to what? What's often the next step? Okay, interesting. I mean, we do go to a second derivative, first derivative, second derivative, but um, we use the first derivative itself for something useful. Eddie, what do we see? To find stationary points, right? Now, I hope you can see it's easier to find stationary points off of this than it is off of this. Okay, you're like, okay, I'm going to get a stationary point when x equals 0 and when x equals 2. Bam, I'm done. You can do that because it's factorized, right? I'm actually going to argue if you wanted to differentiate again and get a second derivative, this is not the form you would use it in. You'd actually use this one. But guess what? I wouldn't differentiate again unless I was forced to anyway. Why not? Seems. Have a look. Seems. Yeah, but, but why seems? Like, why can't I be bothered? Okay, because this thing's gross. I will avoid as much as possible differentiating again because it's just going to become an even more garbled mess than it already is. Okay? All right, next one along. Um, we use quotient rule first. This is... This is chain rule. Fantastic. Um, so, again, I'm going to delicately... Actually, instead of deleting that, I'll just fix it. This is... F dash. Um, might know, I should have said this before, but this is why there's no F in this first question, right? Um, same with this third one. So if you started talking about 
f of x and all, all that. Like, pay close attention. In fact, this lesson, um, more than recent ones, it's really going to matter what you call this derivative. You'll see why in a second. All right, so let's just have a quick look. Powers come out the front. Index is reduced. What's this 8x represent? Uh, the, the it's the it's inside the inside derivative, very good, because you differentiate this plus 3 is gone, and then you're pretty much done. No need to expand or anything like that. And then lastly, um, we've got product rule. Shambhavi's gone all the way, and this is very, very 